Good evening and welcome to Positive Choices. My name is Brother Lou Five and I'm sitting in for Mother Nature this evening. And this evening we have a very special guest. Her name is Monique Forrester. Miss Forrester is a poet and a writer and her poetry transcends to a higher level of consciousness. Welcome Miss Forrester to Positive Choices. Thank you very much, I'm glad to be here. Miss Forrester, I would like to open up by asking you when did you first take an interest in poetry and when did your consciousness develop? I first took an interest in poetry in around second grade. Um, I had this wonderful English teacher and she taught me how beautiful poetry was and I realized almost instantly that I, at least I thought I had talent back then. And um, it just flowed so naturally that I just kept writing and I've been writing for at least the last 15 years, about, give or take. Wow, yeah. that's, that's really wonderful. Um, what would you like to begin? Uh, I, we would love to hear your poetry. Okay, I definitely have some, some to share. I definitely brought some to share with you. Uh, my first selection is titled, In a World Filled with Rainbows. In a world filled with rainbows, I would be considered a queen among the masses and not just myself when the right time passes. In a world filled with rainbows, happiness would be granted to the poor and not only lent for the poor would be no more. In a world filled with rainbows, my tears would be streams created to give life to the dying and not just my dreams. In a world filled with rainbows, my heart would remain open, never again linger broken, for all would be free. In a world filled with rainbows, my pain would be invisible, laid dormant in the hills of time, never again to be the pain of mine. In a world filled with rainbows, my soul, would soul, my soul would search for souls to save, for freeing in the mind is freeing of the ism, which slowly chooses to enslave. In a world filled with rainbows, all love would be pure, purchasable at the nearest convenience store, for with love there is glee, with love all will be free. In a world filled with rainbows, everyone would have eyes to see, words to say, and prayers to pray, and every day would be a holiday. Only in a world filled with rainbows, of course. That's so. very beautiful. Thank you. That was very beautiful. I enjoyed that very much. Definitely. I was just inspired by this beautiful piece of paper that I picked up that actually had rainbows on there. And I just said, wow, in a world filled with rainbows, that would be an interesting title. And I just wrote from there. And so that's what, that was the product of that. You're definitely a natural talent. It comes Thank naturally. You. It just comes from the spirit and it just comes from within. Yes, I think I write too much, if there is such a thing. Well, you I'm know something, writing. there's a need for writers. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I love to write. That's, that's all I've ever done. And it just comes so naturally to me. It just feels like a part of me. It definitely does. Well, that was certainly enlightening. Thank Can you. Can you share with us any, some more sure, of your material? Sure, I have a lot more. Um, the next one I will read is titled, The Mission Continues. I went fishing in the Andes, dyed my hair in the Ganges, retired in the Serengeti, grafted images in the caves of Ethiopia, freed the Moors, escaped Noah's flood, remained outspoken in the Black Panther Party, flew over Amelia Earhart's plane, revisited the Bermuda Triangle three times, recaptured it from the pagans, regained strength over my soul, and fought battles in the Civil War on both sides, created power in the flesh, answered all endless threats, painted murals in the San Fernando Valley, climbed rocks in the Grand Canyon, dictated armies all across the world, for I am like air in the flesh, visible to the invisible, a silent part of the mission, and it continues like it always has before. The mission continues, for when it rains, it pours. Wow, and that <laughs> poured right into my heart. That was really, really elevating. Thank you. My Thank goodness. You. Thank I mean, you, you just spoke you know, <laughs> yeah. you spoke to the to the spirits. It just you. you know, just rise to a very high conscious level. Yes, yes. I think it's definitely self explanatory. We're always fighting for something. There's always gonna be something worth, you know, speaking for, loving or just relating to. So it's very important for us to be a part of the mission and it and it will continue. It most certainly is. It definitely will continue. 
Definitely, definitely. I'm glad you like that. I actually have another one. Okay. This is called For All. For all the loves we let fly by, for all the sorrow that will still exist tomorrow, for all the rainbows and the shooting stars that we miss by a little and not by far, for all the poetry lovers and the I want to be just like my brother brothers, for all the I can't wait till I get a little bit older, slow down, or the wait till it gets a, bit, a little bit colder than it is now, for all the people who avoid God's son or son, the biters of the bullet and the runners from the gun, for all the dreamers who dream dreams that never end, we cannot forget about the she's my bestest friend friends. Or for all the truth tellers, I respect your choices. And for all the minimum wage earners, I understand that the check never appears or clears, hmm. but the bill collectors continue to not hear the cry of the poor, and neither does the store owners, because some of them, someone has to keep them alive. The poor have their pride sometimes. Some of them won't bore you sometimes. For a lot of them did not choose their fate. They are just forced to live it. Forced to be in the streets because the shelters are too full or too far. So they sleep in their car like Jewel used to as a child. Out in the cold or on the train in the heat. Thank the MTA for the free AC. Because <laughs> the poor still have hearts that beat and wounds that bleed. They are still human, you know. They are still our family. Some have just fallen on hard times. Although some are blessed with good minds, others struggle. For everyone can fall, but not everyone can rise at the same speed. So for all the people that will have to take heed, may you be filled with all you'll ever need to get by, to hold on, to march on, to love on, to live on, to be strong, and to stand tall. Hold your head up and remember to keep your dreams alive. And to all the dreamers out there, like John Lennon, Martin Luther King Jr., and Langston Hughes, never let your dream or dreams die deferred. That is very powerful. Thank you. You know, I have to ask you, <laughs> what poets or which poets inspired you the most? Because I see that you have a lot of social activism in, in a lot of your material. Okay, I do. And can you, yes. you know, share with us which poets do you like in what order? Okay, I definitely are? say um, Nikki Giovanni is one of my favorite poets. She's mine too. She's inspired me on so many levels. Langston Hughes, he's definitely one of my favorites. And I pretty much um, stick to those two. I'm, okay. I'm very open. I've read a lot of material, but those are my favorite poets. Yeah, they're mine too. They are my favorite poets. And they're certainly uh, Hands down. part of the, uh, the ancestry and the elders. Definitely, 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 definitely. I love Maya Angelou as well. Oh, yes. You know, you can't forget about Maya. I mean, Maya. there's a whole list of You uh, can't forget poets. about Maya. There's so many. There's so many. There's so many, but... But those are some of my favorites as well. Definitely, definitely. Nikki Giovanni just screams to me. I don't know why, but I just feel like we relate on so many levels. And Cotton Candy on a Rainy Day to, yes. I could just name millions of them. Millions of them. I love her. As a I matter of fact, there's a, a poet, Rogers. there's a young <laughs> girl, I think she's about the age of 10 or 12, mm -hmm. by the name of Autumn. Autumn. Autumn Asante, I believe. I think and I saw her on Like It Is. Okay. Was she on Like It Is? Yes, she was on Like I It Is. I think I saw that. I which think is a, I saw Which that. is a great a Amazing. program with uh, Gil Noble. Amazing. I love Gil Noble. I love Like It Is. I have always been a Like It Is fan growing up. Every Sunday, 12 o'clock. Wow. We're right in front of the TV watching Gil Noble. Okay, Gil Noble. Always. The, the, the check is in the mail. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, always. that's just a I, bit I, I, <laughs> <laughs> You are pretty funny, but I really, really believe strongly that I, I just, you know, I just love it. Absolutely. Definitely, definitely. Can you, can you share with us some more? Sure. This is actually dedicated to Sean Bell. Okay. And um, I actually, as soon as I heard about the incident, it, it touched me so deeply that I knew I had to write something about him and just pour out my heart, you know. Um, I actually attended one of the marches on Wall Street and seeing those people together so full of life and just marching for a cause, it was, it was priceless. And I knew I had to write something. So this is called No Justice, No Peace. I marched down Wall Street today, cause in my eyes, somebody needs to pay for the murders of Sean Bell, 
Amadou Diallo, Jameer Person, Jose Garcia, and the many more cut down by the NYPD. If you'd mind, I would like to turn the tables back in time. I march today for Malcolm X, the Black Panther Party, both the old and the new, the UNIA and the NAACP, for no other reason than my people want to be free, to be free, to be free. Today, we marched for freedom. We marched to end police brutality while whose streets are streets echoed in the black ground. We marched today for all humanity. We marched for the lives that were tossed aside. Damn those people in line so full of pride. It exudes from the inside out. So I no longer doubt the reasons why it seems we cannot find our way out of the matrix for it hasn't got a damn thing to do with luck. The buck, maybe. That's the price to pay, see? It's hard to, but can you fathom a place unlike our own where we would have no reason to march, get bombs thrown in our homes? But then, what would we always cry for, fight for, die for? Wouldn't we want more than just some of that damn freedom pie that laughs at the likes of you and I? I just want my people to be free, to be free, to be free. I want my people to be free, so free that only the sun would beg to differ, for in these times, we still struggle and face sentences that are race stiffer. I want my people to be free, still marching, like Martin and Gandhi. Little do they know we'll be marching till our hearts start to bleed. The plight to be seen as a human being, these thoughts are forever fleeing but never really leaving or leaning on only our ancestors' shoulders. I think I should have told you, we remain the, the originators in this place. See, called not enough space. Aren't you glad you know me, Mother Africa? For I am glad to know thee. As a little voice says, these times are perfect for revolting. For where there's no justice, there can possibly be no peace. That, I got a little choked up on that. Well, it, there's excuse a, me. <laughs> that sounds like a very motivated spiritual uh, poem that, that comes right from the heart. Definitely. And it expresses many years that's very deep rooted in, mm -hmm. um, in pain. Definitely. And uh, we are living in a free country. We are. And we have to be able to express ourselves. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. And we have to be able to articulate certain points of view definitely and you really expressed it very well here today thank you and um, thank you with that being said i would like to move right on to your next piece okay i just love your poetry i mean you just <laughs> flow just like water really which is thank very you. natural thank you so much um the next poem is called keep on windows to my soul keep on air to my breath keep on Love of a lifetime, keep on. Shadows of my poetry, keep on. Soldiers fighting war for freedom when many of you don't have your own, keep on. Models of the civil rights movements and all other forms of revolution, keep on. Children playing in the fire hydrants because parents can't afford the pool, keep on. Truth tellers, keep on. Diamond sellers, keep on while their true heirs die in die in Africa without food, keep on. While the true inhabitants of this earth still live in shackles, keep on. While our revolutionaries die in prison instead of on their feet, keep on. While our revolutionaries die in prison instead of on their feet, keep on. While the institutions claim innocent bystanders on their tax returns for massive write-offs, Keep on fighting, soul igniting, reasoning, reading. Keep on soul searching. Keep on freedom writing. Keep on fighting to the death this time. Keep on forget the marches this time. Keep on songs and these prayers. Keep on forget the normal. Aim for the extraordinary. Or just keep on keeping on.
And that was keep on. And you know something? We have been keeping on for centuries. <laughs> and for some reason, Sojourner Truth 